Hi techies, in this video I am gonna cover one more informatica concept that is indirect file loading. Okay, indirect file loading when we use means whenever we have multiple files with the same structure and same data types that time we'll go for indirect file loading method. So by using single mapping we can load all multiple files at a time I mean to say uh, with with using only single mapping we can load all files to the target no need to create multiple mappings for multiple source files okay i will show you uh, different methods okay how we can do indirect file loading in informatica i'm going to do this in iacs same thing will we can do it in informatica power center also but i'm going to show you in IACS so first of all I want to show you my source files if you see here sub is my directory in this I have customer file 1 customer file 2 customer file 3 and customer file 4 customer file 1 is having customer ID customer name of uh, you know a customer ID is a uh, data type integer and customer name data type is you know this is string same thing in customer file 2 also I have customer ID and customer name and the corresponding data and in file 3 also same structure okay customer ID customer name and till customer ID 10 it's covered in customer file 3 in customer file 4 I just mentioned same structure so customer ID till 12 I have created in file 4 okay now I'm going to create one list file for this so this list file is con is having all the file names including the path where these files existed all four files I have mentioned here just file names okay including path this list file we are going to give as input to the our mapping so now I'm going to create a new mapping I'm going to create this one in test folder. So I'm going to create a new mapping in test folder. In source, I'm going to keep connection as flat file connection only. Okay. And in source, I'm just going to take instead of single object I'm going to take file list so that we can give file list list file here okay I'm just selecting that list file whatever shown earlier in formatting options I'm going to take text qualifier as none and delimiter as comma And now I'm going to add one more expression. This is pass through expression. I'm not adding any logic. It's the best practice. It's useful when debugging time. Okay, in target. I'm going to give connection, flat file connection again. And here, if you have database connection, then you just load that one to some table I don't have right now so I'm just giving the flat file connection only and I'm going to create this one at runtime file name with in runtime so I'm going to give some static file name like um, tgt underscore Uh, customer uh, 
all files dot csv i'm just giving one file name okay now i'm going to save this and run this It has loaded okay all all uh, rows has loaded all four files because I'm seeing total 12 I'll check here the target file okay this is our CSV file so I have seen all the rows here till from first to 12 this 12th is in the last file okay all files has loaded one by one in the target but I want to see which uh, record is coming from which file okay so how we can do that in IACS means we have one option here in the source you see in incoming fields okay I'm in target so I'm now I'm going to source here in fields add currently processed file name field if you check this then it is added one more field here if you want to rename it you can rename it so this field is going to have the file name that record is coming from which file it's going to give in the target now I'm just going to run because no need to check each and every source file it's loaded or not I'm just going to see in target with that file name this is also one of the Informatica interview question like how you will add the source file name Oh, it's failed because I just opened here the my source file sorry target file that's why it's I will run one more time Yeah, it's succeeded. Now I'm going to check my target file. Now see. Customer ID I have. Customer name I have. Okay. Customer ID and customer name and currently processed file name also. is just given another port with full path file with full path okay so you can now see file 1 has loaded file 2 has loaded and file 3 has loaded and file 4 has loaded all data has loaded in one mapping so this is indirect file loading using list file but we can do in you know uh, by passing the command also so in source basically we have another option also right here command so if you check this you have to select one sample file like for structure purpose so you have to select one sample file and here you have to pass the batch file with full path or sh file 
with full path batch file when we send means whenever we uh, we are using windows as our environment then you can use batch file here you have to pass batch file or sometimes we work on uh, unix or linux right so that time we have to pass here shell script so i am going to show you what shell script you have to mention what you have to write okay in src i have some subfolder here in this i have mentioned script file okay in this script in this script file just you have to uh, keep first directory you have to change the directory and then this directory is where your uh, files i showed you right four files that is in my subdirectory so that full path you have to mention here and this lsl means it will just list the files with which which i have given some you know pattern here because my if if you have pattern only it will be useful okay i have file names with some pattern customer underscore file underscore number i am giving okay sequence so this is my uh, file pattern so you you have to mention file pattern so i just given the files which is coming which is start with customer so those files has to load here okay and you can give like this also file underscore star dot csv okay like this also you can mention the file pattern but after customer uh, i mean starting with customer only i have all files other files is not there only data files is having customer starting with customer in my folder so if you wanna mention pattern exactly this is the pattern okay and same thing you can even mention in the batch file this is we use when we are uh, we are using windows environment so here you have to first uh, of the echo echo of and then you have to go same directory and in uh, directory if you want to list the files you have to give like this uh, this uh, b is going to uh, give the uh, list files okay file list with this pattern if it's there it's just going to list that like lsl i think everybody understood that you just pass this into the command and you have to run this okay this this is um, two ways i have explained one is by passing command and another one is by uh, passing list file but we have another one also uh, that is um, add bundles okay that is uh, actually little bit uh, complex one i don't recommend that uh, method so i'm not going to uh, say i mean i i'm going i'm not going to show that in this video because using these two methods only uh, very easy that method is very you know we have to do so many steps it's not required we have this right so go for, uh, select either first one or second one thank you thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box